today's topic for discussion is a description of a specific plant that is punica granatum its common name is pomegranate and this plant it is a uh, cultivated in large scale for its fruits and it is a cosmopolitan fruit crop let us see how is the habit it is a small tree or shrub and it has multiple spiny branches and how is the leaf leaf of the pomegranate it is green oblong in shape glossy entire margin margin of the leaf is in continuation and it is a narrow leaf it has a very small stalk like structure stalk of the leaf that is known as pedicel hence the leaf is described as pedicellate and venation is reticulate a network of veins is present in the leaf that is reticulate venation occurs in this and stipule is present it is stipulate leaf and color of the leaf is green let us see next this is the back side of the leaf okay next how is the phyllotaxy phyllotaxy of pomegranate or punica granatum family lithraceae is opposite or sub opposite as shown in the photograph let us see how is the stipule stipule is present stipule is a small leafy structure when it occurs at the base of the leaf that is called stipule and in this pomegranate the stipules modified to spines next how is the inflorescence how is the floral axis arrangement of the flowers in the on the floral axis that is flo inflorescence inflorescence in punica granatum family lithraceae is dichasial sign what is dichasial sign type of inflorescence in this case the main reproductive shoot ends into flower and simultaneously it produces two lateral buds which later develop into flower such type of arrangement of the flowers on reproductive axis is termed as also termed as biparous inflorescence or dichasial sign inflorescence okay let us see how is the flower next this is the flower of punica granatum family lithraceae flower is sessile because it has no stalk in several varieties of the pomegranate the the flowers are sessile there is no pedicel but in some varieties of the punica granatum several varieties of punica, punica granatum are there and uh, the fruit is edible hence there the, there are several varieties are available and in some species flower is having a small stalk like structure or it is a short pedicellate pedicel is the stalk of the flower okay and even the pedicel is present it is pedicellate flower okay and pedicel is short then the short pedicellate flower okay plant produces three types of flowers okay number one male flower number two bisexual flower and number three intermediate flower let us see the details male flower the male flowers are those in which the style is present but remains in rudimentary stage that is sterile and however the stamens are well developed such flowers are described as male flowers in the plant and second type of flower that perfect flower or complete flower or it is bisexual flower second type bisexual flower bi means two bisexual flowers in this case both the androecium and gynoecium are present which are completely developed and in this case the style is long protruding distinctly beyond the staminal column and also have well developed stamen such flower is described as bisexual flower or perfect flower okay and third type of flowers which produces produces by this plant that is punica granatum family lithraceae is intermediate flower this type of flower represents a compromise between those two conditions just described above and have style reaching up to or just below the staminal column these also have well developed stamens such flowers are described as intermediate flower let us see how is this is the bisexual flower in this flower we have removed the petals to show you the androecium as well as gynoecium in this flower gynoecium and androecium both are present hence the flower is bisexual 
in the, the in the photograph we have shown here the petals are removed to show you the uh, the uh, parts of stamen and gynoecium okay next how is the calyx calyx it is the first oral of the flower and calyx they consist of sepals all the sepals together known as calyx there are five to seven calyx occur in the punica granatum that is pomegranate family lithraceae but the flower which we have dissected here only six lobes of sepals were present and uh, six lobes are shown in the photograph and calyx lobes that is sepals are thick and hard the sepals are united at the basal region and hence the uh, sepals are described and in taxonomic language that is described as gamosepalous gamma means united sepals are united and a cup shaped structure is formed formed that is sepals are cup shaped okay and estivation is volvate because it is gamosepalous automatically estivation is volvate all the sepals are uh, united hence estivation estivation means arrangement of the sepals in the calyx okay the estivation estivation is volvate next this is the corolla corolla of the punica granatum corolla consists of petals there are five to seven petals are present in several varieties of the punica granatum but the flower we dissected here there was only six uh, petals and in this flower and the petals are situated alternate to the calyx teeth okay petals with wavy margin margin of the petal is wavy and petals are very delicate and they are of ovate in shape shape of the petal is of ovate and beautiful red colored next this is the androecium androecium it is the male part of the flower and there are many stamens androecium consists of stamens all the stamen together known as androecium and androecium that are stamens are many stamens inserted into calyx calyx wall in a circle of 3 now in a circle and frequently number is more than 300 per flower 300 stamens are produced by flower filaments are orange red in color anthers yellow in color and locules are two in the anther hence it is bilocular and it remains attached to the prominent calyx and nectaries are present nectary nectar gland glands are present between the stamens and the ovary base okay next these are the stamens removed from the flowers separated from the calyx of the punica granatum and uh, there are many stamens the punica granatum produces just described that 300 stamens can be produced next this is the gynoecium of the punica granatum family lithraceae this is the female part of the flower in the photograph the large bulbous shape it is the ovary and the straight portion finger like that is a style and at the top dark green color that is a stigma all ovary style stigma together known as gynoecium okay ovary is situated ovary is inferior because the floral units are originated from the top of the ovary hence it is described as inferior ovary and carpels vary in number in different variety carpel number is different okay but they are usually eight and superimposed in two orals okay this is all about gynoecium of the punica granatum family lithraceae let us see how is the fruit this is the fruit of punica granatum it is very common everybody has seen this fruit and family lithraceae and its common name is pomegranate and the fruit is aggregate fruit what is aggregate fruit the aggregate fruit these are the compound fruits and that are developed from one or more pistils and the fruit is globose brown in color or persistent and there are several colors recently in hybrid varieties several colors are available in market okay this is a aggregate type of fruit okay next thank you very much save trees save earth